Hello, my name is Hans Kandel, I'm an extension agronomist at NDSU. Today's talk is about early planting of soybeans. When we have an, uh, a nice season, when the temperatures are good and the forecast is uh, decent, we can try to start planting soybeans in the early part of May. In a large study that we have done with investigating what farmers actually are doing, we found that about a third of a bushel can be gained if you plant one day earlier within that planting window, and the planting window is somewhere the first week of May till the end of May. So in the experiment that I'm discussing today, we planted as soon as we could get, get into the field, which was the first week of May, and then we came in two weeks later. So the objective of this study is to see what is the difference when you plant early versus planting late. One of the dangers that we can have when you plant a little early is that there can be a frost at the end of the, the beginning of the season, like in May. This year we had a frost on the 28th of May and that caused some of the plants to be somewhat injured. But in most of the years, if we plant in the second half of May, like starting with the 15th of May, the plants will take about a week before they germinate and once they come out of the ground, the chance for frost is limited. So there is also a danger if we plant too late that we might have a frost at the beginning of the September month like we had last year in 2020 where there was a frost at 8th or 9th of September versus what is traditionally the frost date around the 21st. So we can have the frost early in the season and late in the season, but what we want to do is maximize the amount of sunlight during the time that we plant till we harvest. So in the trials that we have done, we have found over about 18 different environments that planting early gives about a 7% yield increase. However, under certain conditions, for instance, if you have tile and you can get in about a week earlier than on the non-tile, there we saw between early planting and late planting even a 28% difference in yield. Now the benefit of early planting is that we also have the opportunity to select a variety that matures a little bit later so we can capture the sunlight from the beginning of the season all the way to the end. So we have maturity groups, the zero group, if we just go one or, ten, uh, one or two tenths of a point more then we can capture more of the sunlight at the end of the season. We found that when we look at three tenths of a difference, dif difference in maturity, that we can pick up maybe 6% uh, percent in yield. So in the trial that we are looking at, we can see here behind me is the late planted, where there is still leaves, green and yellow leaves, whereas if we step a little bit to my right, where we planted a little bit earlier, all the leaves are already gone. So the difference between the plots that we are looking at is we have here a early maturing variety and we have a late maturing variety that was planted a little bit uh, earlier. So the benefit here is looking at the combination of early planting and maturity. And if we combine those two we know that if you have the opportunity to plant early with that later maturing, we pick up some yield. So the other factor that is important of maximizing yield is looking at the interception of sunlight. So we need to have the right amount of plants within the field. Our recommendation at NDSU is to have about 150,000 established plants per acre. The second factor that is important is the row spacing. If we have wide rows, we are losing some of the yield potential because the sunlight is penetrating into the canopy and reaches the soil surface instead of leaves to maximize yield. So in the combination of looking at planting date, maturity and seeding rate, our trial shows that the highest yield is obtained in the combination early planting and late maturing. Those plants will have the most capacity to maximize the yield. However, as I mentioned, we need to get the crop mature before the fall frost. So selecting a maturity still need to be within what is normally for your region. Maybe go one tenth or two tenths 
of a, a maturity later, but don't go too late because then in the end we run into the frost. Here we see the 08 maturing where we still see yellow and uh, green leaves on the plant, late planted, the same 08 maturity, if it was planted in that first week of May, we can see that the plant already has dropped most of the leaves and will be ready for harvest pretty soon. Here is an example of a 05 maturity bean that was planted about two weeks later than the earliest we could get in. This one was planted uh, roughly in the third week of May in 2021. I'm comparing this one with a late maturing variety. This is an 08 maturing variety that was planted early. And as you can see, the 08 has already dropped its leaf. And based on our previous research, we are anticipating that the early planting and the late maturing, the 08 maturing variety, will actually out yield some of the earlier maturing material. But key is early planting to maximize the sunlight that we are receiving during the season.